Hi folks, it's Daniel here and in today's session, I'm going to continue exploring the AI generated full tool inside of the beta version of Photoshop. And I want to show you how I'm starting to use it in my workflow as a portrait photographer. So on my screen here, I've got this image of a boy and his dog. And one of the things that I'd like to get rid of in this shot is the collar and the leash. Okay. It was one of those things that we couldn't unfortunately get rid of during the shoot because if we'd done, we would have had a missing dog. One of the things that I did do, however, prior to recording this particular tutorial was to change some of the colors in the image. Now, one of the colors that I did change here, which was very glaring at the time of the shoot, was the actual leash here, which was this bright fluorescent yellow color. And what I've done is instead of trying to spend a lot of time trying to get rid of the leash and get rid of the collar, I decided to make some color changes to the leash at least to conform it to the color palette that I was looking for. And in this case here, the three colors that I was looking for was the gray, blacks, and browns, okay? That simplified color palette that would harmonize the composition here, all right? So that's what I was looking for, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't remove these things because it would have taken a lot of time and it would have been quite difficult. I can't say couldn't, it just would have taken a lot of time removing these elements, okay? So today we're going to see if we can get rid of those in a very efficient way. Now, normally my process would be to go to either the spot healing brush tool or the remove tool. If we go to the spot healing brush tool here, I'd be setting it to the content aware fill tab over here. And then I'd literally just paint over the collar like this. Okay. And this is a result that we would get. Now it doesn't look that great to be honest. So I'd undo that. And then I try the next tool down, which is the remove tool. The remove tool is a new tool to Photoshop and it's a very intelligent tool. It's based on artificial intelligence. Okay. So it's still pretty clever, but it's got a little flaw and I'm going to show you where that is. Okay. So let me increase the size of my brush here and I'm just going to brush over the collar of the dog here. Let's see what happens. And the result is pretty realistic, but the issue I'm having here at the moment is this like canvas textured result that we're getting here. Okay, I don't like that. I don't know what it is or why that is, but it's not really a result that I would say is great. It's much, much better than the previous option, but it's leaving us with this little pattern here, which is unusual. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, anyway, the other option of course, is to use the generative tool to do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the lasso tool here, and I'm gonna make a selection around the collar and you'll notice that I'm trying to go in the shape of what I'm expecting it to do here and that is fur all right not replacing it with another collar hopefully and the other thing to bear in mind is that I've got the add to selection active here not new add to so every time I make a little extra selection it adds to the current selection so let's have a look at this generate a full and generate and let's see what we get here so I'm hoping that it's going to follow some kind of structure to incorporate these parts of the hair here and to take away the collar here in an effective way. Okay, so it's important to realize that the shape of your selection determines the end results as well. So look at that. Boom. I'm actually liking number two here. That looks pretty natural to me and the structure of the fur of the dog here. You could go for number three, but it still looks like there's a collar underneath there. That's why it's dark. But one, two, and two looks the best over here. I'm going to settle for number two because that's pretty realistic. So let's move on to the other little part here. This is starting with Alicia. And this is quite a complex area to try and paint out and to try and use the spot cleaning brush tools or the clone stamp tools, etc., etc. So we'll go an easy route now. That's the lasso tool this time around. And we'll make a little selection around that little area there. And we'll follow along the leash here and we'll make a selection of this part of the leash here. Very, very simple. And we'll click generate full and click generate and see what happens, okay? So again, we're gonna be offered the three different variations of the results, and we're gonna pick the one that best suits our image. And this is so groundbreaking, folks. Removing things like this is such a breeze now, as you will see. Look at that, boom, gone. The finger looks a bit weird here, but let's see what option number two gives us. That's way, way better. And option number three, I think option number two in this case here does a nice job here. So I'm going to accept that change. Let's have a look at another one over here quickly. Number one, 
Let's go for number one because it's filled in this part better here. Okay, before and after. It's added in this little bit of extra finger here, but we can remove that too. So I'm going to flatten the image and then we're going to make another little selection here around the finger. So this little pinky finger was actually sticking out. And what I want to ask Photoshop to do is to actually bend the finger down to follow the shape of the fingers in this area. How do we do that? Again, select the lasso tool and then just paint around this area and then make a little hump over here like this and then tell Photoshop that's the area that we actually want to remove and click generate and let's see the variations that we get from that. I'm hoping that that little pinky finger is going to be bent in, so to speak, okay? It's going to remove it from that selection and fill it in with a jacket. Look at that. That is just absolutely brilliant, okay? Not quite there, but it's a lot better. There we go, number three. That's the one that we're looking for. So we'll flatten the image, okay? We've got a couple of little areas here that we can fix up and we can use the other tool in our toolbox, which is the remove tool, okay? Just size it up a little bit better and we can just reform those little areas there a little bit better, okay? Same as this little area here, just bring in that shape of of the lettering there, or uh, not lettering, that little stripe there, okay? So let's continue with this process. There we've just bent in that little finger there very, very effectively, okay? Love it, all right? And I'm working at speed here. I can, I can spend a lot of time doing all sorts here. Let's get rid of this bulk over here. That's gonna be quite challenging because what on earth is it gonna fill in there? I wouldn't actually know if I was trying to do this myself, even with the remove tools and, and spot hitting brush tools and all of those other tools, those would have been fairly challenging, okay? So again, lasso tool, and we're just gonna grab around that little area there into the finger and just around the top end here. Generate fill, click generate, and let's wait for those results to be generated. I'm excited to see what it's gonna try and fill in there because that is fairly challenging, okay? If it works this out, this stuff is just, <laughs> alien technology so to speak all right so it's taking a while but look at that that is just absolutely insane okay this first option here i'm pretty happy where that's gone to you and option number two that's also fairly okay i'm not sure what that area is there if you don't like the results you just click generate again to see what else you can get here i think i'm going to just chance at generating one more set for that little area because that's quite complex to be honest okay look I, I think that there that there is just absolutely wizardry there okay i'm happy with that let's let's hold on to that one flatten that image and yep i'm pretty happy where that's gone to there okay it's even held in that thumb shape there and everything else so uh, the last part over here of the leash is going to be kind of a challenge here okay so what we'll do is we'll select our lasso tool again Go along the kneecap over here. And this might be a little bit more challenging for the system, I think. I'm just thinking out loud here because how, how could it possibly figure this all out here? Right, so I'm going to need to add into the little mask area there and over there and perhaps there and there and click generate the fill and let's see what happens here. Okay, boom, there we go. Okay, so it's thrown up this generated images were removed because they violate user guidelines. It's a kind of a weird thing because I'd expect Adobe to be able to sort this out because it's not an issue that I'm creating. Uh, none of those results actually fit in here. So we can maybe click generate again to see if it might be able to regenerate again. This wasn't too bad, but this looks a bit weird over here. It doesn't kind of fit in with the solution that we're looking for here, but let's generate another set here and wait for those user guidelines to be broken again um, it's still not quite there let's see if we can change the selection a little bit here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint along here painting a little bit closer maybe it's because it's re realizing that this is a knee of someone i'm not sure but let's see if we can change those results by making the selection a little bit differently okay so what i've done is in the past i've actually made a selection outside of that area to try and fool it into thinking it's looking at this area. So let's do this, let's try it out. I'm gonna make a selection in that area there. And this is why I said it's important to have the add to selection active there. Let's generate the fill again and click generate. And let's see if we can avoid those little error warnings. I've actually used this successfully in the past to get rid of those little user error warnings. I'm hoping that Photoshop fixed those up or Adobe fixes that up. There we go. 
<laughs> see we go <laughs> there we go we just bypassed the system there quickly okay and this one over here looks okay that's the one that i'm looking for right there okay that's pretty authentic that is the one that i'd like to go for in this case here uh, i'm going to accept that straight away but as you can see is if it does give you those user error warnings okay just make another little selection somewhere else outside of that area and click generate again um you know i'm sure that'll regenerate in the way that you're looking for this isn't quite perfect yet but what i could do is go to the liquify tool and then just bend in those little pixels in that area to reshape that the leg got a bit wonky over here that just could have been because of the selection that i made okay so pop that out like that pop that in there like that and there we go excellent results on the fly okay and i'm just stretching these pixels out this way and i can push in that little bump over there of the jacket and push it in a little bit closer so there we go we use several tools here in order to get rid of those parts of the leash effectively so okay that and that is looking absolutely wonderful so those were quite challenging situations where we needed to get rid of those elements and we did it effectively using the ai generator full tool so there you have it we were able to successfully remove the collar and the leash from this image okay and this is really really groundbreaking and it's making this type of process of eliminating objects in images that much easier so folks i hope you've enjoyed the session and we'll see you in the next video ciao for now